Six, Neil Sands. <laughs> and in blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Croydon, the golden boy of the wrestling world, Steve Vidor. <laughs> and for referee for all occasions, the one and only Joe Durazio. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon and welcome to the Woodville Halls here in Gravesend for another freestyle wrestling session. And we start this afternoon with this heavyweight contest between Steve Vito at 15 stone one and his opponent is new boy to television, Neil Sands of Halstead Essex, also at 15 stone one. So no trouble about the weights here, identical. Easily identifiable, Vito in his usual light yellow trunks. And this, uh, this Essex boy, Neil Sands, uh, apparently is going to stick to uh, a leotard. <laughs> right into Joe Dorazio, the referee. Now, here's experience against a brand newcomer to the extent that he's been a pro since uh, 1974, you know, a year ago, but he, 14 months or so a pro. But this is his first appearance on television. And then arm lock to Vida. So it's uh, Sands, great finding Vito there. But he'll never get out of the arm lock like that. He might like this. No, I don't think Vito's liable to give like that. You know the way he shoves his weight across the body of the man on his back to hold that arm lock on. Ooh. Trying to bridge out of a Vito arm lock, I wouldn't advise. Just about got his arm slipped out of the arm lock on the way over. And that cross buttock, very high cross buttock, but worked for him. Side head chancery, Sands. Feeder forcing himself to the front there, but it's but still the side head chancery until that turn and the whip out by Vida. Example there, Peter getting a full Nelson, but didn't want it. The first pinfall count, but the second one, the legs and the ropes, and a break. And this is a six five minute round contest, just one fall, one submission or a knockout to decide. With just under two minutes to go in round one. Comparative newcomer, but he's uh, going to cause a little trouble to the experienced Steve Vitor here. Still the side head chancery. Just a wee bit surprised at the way this boy's coming at him. As early as round one. Just one more to go, toe and ankle, and a beauty. A bit amazed by that spin out. That's the speed they come when you're fighting Vito. Interlocked, both exactly the same weight. 25 seconds to go, round one. 
to be quick, Steve Veter, if he's going to get a result out of this one. Right on the bell. Oh, no. Normally, when a man like this uh, fights a newcomer, he's uh, pretty confident, naturally, but I'm not so sure that after the first round, Veter is going to be quite so confident as he was at the beginning. The smile is still there, the relaxed look, but I think this boy could cause him just a little more trouble than he expects. He certainly showed so in that uh, uh, middle part of the first round there. Steve Veter from Ellesmere Port, Cheshire. Seconds out. Round two. Round two and no score in this preliminary heavyweight contest here at the Woodville Hall Gravesend between Steve Veter and Neil Sands of Essex. Veter in the trunks there with the double-handed wrist lever on Sands back to canvas. Sands in the full leotard there with the white boots. Neil Sands from Holstead. Referee Joe Dorazio. Doubt if he'll have any trouble at all with this bout. Certainly not uh, from Vida's point of view. I doubt if Neil Sands on his first television appearance will uh, try anything funny. Not only kind of back into the bridge, but still in trouble from the same hole. Until then, nice cross but he couldn't hold him. Couldn't hold a headlock, but otherwise the escape was good, but the counter didn't work. This really could develop into a very interesting heavyweight contest here. Now, Vita knew he'd run out of mat then. Nice, got it. The toe and ankle again, Sands. No, 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 no. 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 try to counter with the leg spread, but uh, Sands No. 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 <laughs> Sands decides that he can't go further with that. What is the point of continuing with a hole that you don't think you can score from? Nice spin out, but we was ready for it. <laughs> Holding press very quick. Vita trying a quick one in this second round. Didn't come off quite, but it could have surprised him. <laughs> crowd, very packed crowd here at the Woodville Hall in Gravesend, beginning to enjoy this one. <laughs> Not really a bridge, now it's a bridge when his head went down. <laughs> front head chancery to a side head chancery over the top of the sort of a cross press that might possibly cause the boy trouble. Hasn't released the side head chancery yet. Still the side head chancery is there. Good 
by Trop. Oh, oh, he didn't follow it down with a cross press. I don't know why he didn't. Vitor had a chance to follow that cross press down, decided to go for something else. One minute to go, round two. It's still not over and spun out beautifully from that whip. <laughs> Vitor smiles with admiration at this boy. Waist hold now from the rear. Following it up with a three quarter Nelson. Trying the reverse side head up there from the front. Sands didn't come off, so back to the finger interlock, both hands. 25 seconds to go, round two. And taking the arm right back, having whipped him forwards, whips that arm right back. Ten seconds. The throw from the double wrist lock with three seconds. Neil Sands of Holstead in Essex, 15 stone one of him. And a little unfortunate, this guy, with only four and a half years amateur experience at the Redbridge Amateur Wrestling Club and trained by Ron Grinstead, the famous trainer. He turned full-time pro about 14 months ago. And what do you know, his first television appearance is against a man like Steve Vader. Real rough start. But it could be interesting for the crowd here at the Woodville Hall. Seconds out, round three. Four rounds to go as we start round three. And Neil Sands versus Steve Veder. Sands in the full leotard. So the arm lock is back. Said back. He started this the first round and took Sands a long time to get out of it. This time the break came because of the ropes interfering with the, the bout. Side head chance through to Sands. Nicely over the top, shoulder press, but Maybe a wee bit early to try that on Vida. But a pretty good try as he realizes it's a bit early and releases again. I think uh, grappling fans all over the country are going to like this boy. I think we'll see more of him. Nice return back to the stump. Yes, <laughs> and Vida acknowledges it. crossed before the head, so if you get a spin out from it, but that's about all. No, but Sands, on the no. other hand, doing all right from this hold. Vida may be sorry he started it. No. An unusual sight to see an experienced man like Steve Vida on the canvas with a comparative newcomer of 14 months professional experience Holding in there. But not for too long. Come off. And Sands retaliated nicely in a cross press to Sands and gets a count of two on a pinfall chance. And it's the the first count of two on a pinfall goes to Sands. Admittedly, it's not as good as three, but it shows the way it could go. Time follow up with a double knee, double leg Nelson now to Sands. Folding press attempt by Vida, but spun out before he could get. 
A fine tackle, Vita, but he's a little too early and a dangerous position. Ooh, man. That was really near, or it looked very near. Vita doesn't look worried, but there's a count of two and a half there. <laughs> And over the top of the shoulder press. Each time successfully removing his shoulder blades from the canvas. I wouldn't be surprised to see Vida release this. Realizing he can get nowhere with it. Let's see. First finger lock. One minute he's got. Double arm from that position won't help Sands too much. Unless he can change hands. And the spin out finally came, but it's Vito holds it. And that crossed head scissors again. Vito making sure he gets out of that bit sharpish because that toe and ankle he's been caused him trouble in the past. Quickly onto it, but not quickly enough. And it's a cross price to Sands almost on the bell of round three. Steve Vito, we often see him uh, sweating quite a little bit, but not very often against a man who has only just become a professional wrestler 14 months ago. I think that if I uh, spoke to uh, Steve Vito after this particular bout, I think the first thing he would say to me, well, that was the surprise of my life, because although he's putting on a brave face, I think he uh, didn't expect quite this. Second down. Round four. Round four, three rounds to go. No score because this is a one full contest. And the crowd here at the Woodville Hall, Gravesend, really beginning to enjoy this heavyweight preliminary bout. They're all waiting for Les Kelly and, of course, the uh, World of Sport Trophy semi final coming after this. But in the meantime, they've got a pretty good bout to go on with. Side headlock to Sands, Sands in the leotard. And Vida may be getting a wee bit worried that he can't floor this boy for three. He's, he's tried everything in the last couple of rounds. There's the grubbing. Steve Vito, one of the kings of the grubbit hold, and there it is. You see the, his opponent's head turn right round. One of the most uncomfortable holes to be in. And the roll of both men into the ropes this time. But whatever happens now, in these last three rounds, one can only say that Neil Sands has put up a tremendous show against the experience of a Steve Vito. I think he might be weakening just a little bit now, but why shouldn't he be? He may be the same weight as Vito and is exactly 15 stone one, but Vito has been at it for a few months now.
And the sleeper may be going on here. What position is Vida's right forearm? It is across the side of the neck, causing the sleeper. And it'll, he'll have to hurry to get up from it. But he's made it just in time to go down again. And again, the headlock is strangled by Steve Vida. Trying to slow his man down. Now he's had enough trouble from this boy. A wee bit worried. Here's Neil Sands back to canvas. Curiously enough, it's the next suplex that is his speciality. But I think he'll work it on Steve Vida. Combating the folding press pretty well. And two minutes to go, round four. the hesitation of Sands to shake Reader's hand. Never would he uh, top across that. The worst crotch hold there. And Sands didn't like that lift too much, but then who would? Nicely over the top, but can he lose his balance? He has a double eight Nelson to Sands on a count of two. No, it was Reader's Pinning himself out, takes the man with him, takes Sands with him very near the ropes, but not in them. And just the ropes touched, I think. Or did they? Yes, they did touch. So the referee broke it. Very near thing. Flying tackle now by Sands. Vida, will he get him over the top? Will he slam him? Aims to slam him. No, it's Sands that wins it. The cross press. This will be the upset of the decayed if that had happened. But Vida knew what he was doing. One minute to go. And not a good landing by Vida. And Sands goes straight in with some more. Uh, this time he missed a double arm beautifully by Vida from underneath, and this is trouble. Sands in real trouble now. You'll never get out of that. Beautifully done. And Sands needn't worry because he did great. And Vida, the first to congratulate him. And I think the crowd here much deserved the applause they're dishing out. Mostly for this ball. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Steve Vidor.